So yesterday I went to the mall and I was in the shoe store and I found these shoes and they're just amazing and they're peep toe and they're black patent leather and I was like, mom, can I get the shoes? Have you ever found yourself in a situation like this? Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman's voice and today we're going to be talking about the different types of first dates. Let's watch that again, shall we? The first type of date is the awkward date. This date has many pauses and awkward situations. So yesterday I went to the mall and I was in the shoe store and I found these shoes and they're just amazing and they're peep toe and they're black patent leather and I was like, Mom, can I get the shoes? Take note of a couple things here. First of all, notice the lack of eye contact and also pay attention to the one-sided conversation. He's like, yeah, I get them. So we got them. So then I went to the store. And at the store, I found this awesome dress. And it was like blue with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sparkles. And it was so cute. Wait, here, I have a picture of Let me show you. Ready? 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 Wait. Where'd you go? Oh. We've already been here for what? Like two minutes? What time do you have to go home? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I can be here for, you know, three more hours. Great. Yeah. I know. Another trait of the awkward date is the meaningless conversation. Um, well, uh, the, the weather's the weather's looking really great. It's raining. Oh, so maybe it's not like that. Also, attempts to compliment each other go in vain. Uh, you have great eyes. I hate my eyes. Sometimes the compliments aren't even compliments at all. Have you been gaining weight? <laughs> so, um, how's, how's your grandfather? He died this morning. Oh no. No? Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Bombed. <laughs> okay, alright. So I think it's good. Yeah. Alright. Another trait of an awkward date is the same side sitter. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna move to the other side. I'm feeling a draft. You feeling a draft? Yes. It's freezing over here. You know what? I kinda feel one too. Of course you do. date is true love. On this true love date, the couple believes that they are madly in love after the first date. Crazy! Hey! 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 Oh, you're so cute! You're so cute! No, no, oh, you're... There are several things you need to know about a true love date before we move on. Number one, there is an incredible amount of gazing. Two, there's an overuse of the same compliments, but neither of them seems to care. And three, everything that happens is nauseating to anyone who's unfortunate enough to be watching. There also may be a sickening obsession to feed one another. Are you hungry? You want some food? Yeah. Are you thirsty? Yeah. They also may argue about who loves who more. I love you. I love you. I love you the most. No, I love you. I love no. you the most. Crazy. No. Do you have a map? Because I'm getting lost in your eyes. The next type of date is called the disaster date. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong. Thank you. Oh, oh. she's <laughs> In a disaster date, things go horribly wrong, and neither of the people seem to be right for each other. Uh, I, um... Uh, I forgot to put on the other. Can you tell? Oh my gosh! Uh, are you finished? Oh, let me... Oh. <laughs> Oh. No. 
allergic to paper. The thing about disaster dates is that they can end pretty explosively. Your eyes are so drab. Whoa. Your eyes. You know what? Alright, look, listen, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick and tired of you always criticizing my shoes. Why do you look stoned all the time? You're, you're sure. I don't understand why this is. What does that even this mean? is the stupidest. That, that game time. The last kind of date is the successful date. In this date, both people leave satisfied and are excited about their second date. Hey. Hey, Aaron. Hey. What's up? How much? How was track? Oh, it's pretty good, you know, just running. How's that? Oh, it's terrible. Just like always. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just frying and cheese still. You know. Uh, I feel like I'm not cheese. A date can be considered successful when the two of them connect on a personal level, and above all, want to go out again sometime. Well, I had a fun time. So did I. You want me to maybe get back together this weekend? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. Alright. I gotta go, but uh, you can just text me this weekend. Okay, we'll do. See ya!